Yes. You, uh, you would never cheat on him? Never. Huh? Wait, what you ask? You would you ever cheat on him? Yeah, I would, but he wouldn't. Because... I hate to be the one to tell y'all this, but somebody had to say it. All girls cheat. All girls cheat. But if she love you, you won't never find out. What up, gents? Welcome to TSG Uncut. I'm your host, Sean C. Today, we're delving into the raw, unfiltered truth with a topic that will have you on the edge of your seat. In today's video with modern women busted for cheating, we're going to unveil a side of relationships that doesn't get talked about enough. It is my belief that women in today's society cheat more than men. Today, my intention is to show you what it looks like when modern women cheat so that when you see these behaviors, you know exactly what you are seeing. Do me a favor, hit that like button. And with that being said, let's get started. You married? Yes. You're cheating on your husband? Yeah, Vegas. It's Vegas, baby. We're both married. Are you cheating on your husband in Vegas? Absolutely not. Just her? Maybe. Is she? She's cheating on her husband in Vegas. Wow. Facts. How many times you cheating on your husband? You right now. Yeah, you are kind of hot. You are kind of hot. <laughs> you got a ring on your finger, though. You did good. Look, who went to me with no money? Nobody. Sign me with money. Now, as you guys know, I live here in Vegas and women coming here to cheat, men coming here to cheat is nothing new living here in Sin City. But this just isn't a Vegas problem. This problem has everything to do with modern women wanting to be able to feel something. Vegas seems to be a justification or an excuse for them to be able to let their inhibitions go. This is why as men, you have to be careful about these girls trips because what you don't know may be the thing to take your marriage down. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me, bro. What's smoking, bro? You guys? What's smoking, bro? You guys? Oh, oh, now this is just your friend? I just called you hugging him. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, wait, I'm just bro. your friend? Nah, nah. Where am I? Then you just ghost me, please. Bro, this is exactly why we here now, bro. You still doing this dumb shit. Where am I? Dad? You're dead. You're dead. Oh, you're dead. I'm not hearing that shit, bro. This is the third full time, bro. I can't even tell you what you're talking about, bro. And I still take you back, bro. Every full time. You know I love you. Nah, you don't love nobody, bro. Stop talking, bro. Hey, please. Stop, bro. Yo, this dude caught his girlfriend cheating three times. This dude should have been out of the door after the first time. Because the first time she cheated, she showed that she had no respect for this dude. And here she is again trying to holler. I am trying to tell you guys that these women here do not care. They are not trying to be wifed up. They are not trying to be in a committed relationship. And if you watch social media, they tell you that they gonna cheat. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. What you doing? What's going on? Nothing. What you doing? You think, why are you out with him? Why are you even here? Because I want to see what you was doing. I was doing a video to stalk you, but what the you doing out with him? And why he running off? Huh? I Come on. No. What's going on? Nothing. Why are you even here? No, what, what is going on? I'm not understanding. Nothing. Nothing. You all dressed out with nothing. him. What's the, what's, what's the issue? Babe, really, huh? like, it's nothing. I promise you. No, what's the problem? It's not a problem. I really was not expecting you to be here. What are you here. smiling for? I mean, I, I, I ain't got time to play no games. What are you smiling for? What was she smiling for? I mean, I really want you guys to think about what we just saw. But the one thing I want you to pay attention to is how her demeanor was the whole time. If you read the body language of this woman, she does not love or care for this man. She could give a shit how this man felt right now. You need to stop even asking questions, get out of your emotions, and just leave that situation. Leave cold as hell. Because if she knows that you showing emotions, she gonna do it again because she realized you care more than she does. She knows that she can get away with it again and she's gonna continue to look for someone that's better than you. What the f is this? What the f is this? What the f is this? I know, calm down. Calm down my ass. What the f is this? What the f is this? This your friend? That's my mother f friend. The f you mean this your friend? Bro, what you tripping? This your friend. This is this we on, bro. This is we on, bro. You my day one, but you chilling with my. 
What the f*** you talking about? We ain't doing nothing. We trying to surprise you. Bro, I just zoomed in so y'all kiss her like five toes. I ain't f***ing dumb. Get the f*** out of here. Oh, you did. I seen this I shit. Never kissed her. Bro, I never kiss her. Bro, I'll you, bro. Stop f***ing playing with me, bro. bro I'm, I'm not no f***ing goofy. Bro, I'm not a goofy, bro. I'll you. Bro. Oh, hell no. There is no way that your day one should be in the car with your girl at all. If that woman is pushing up on your boy, your boy, your supposed day one should be trying to tell that woman to get her ass back to you and get the hell off me. And then if he's really your boy, he needs to go ahead and let you know that she was trying to push up on you. That's why you got to stay vigilant. Women are pretty good about covering their tracks. So if you have that suspicion, you need to go with your intuition and realize that there may be something there. But if you know you're a good dude and you've done nothing to this woman and you get that inkling in your stomach that something's wrong, then you need to go on your intuition and pull that thread until you know exactly what's going on. Are you serious? We got a deep. <laughs> we got <laughs> Cheat on me, bro. You really cheat on me, bro. He's coming. He's coming. No, you cheat on me, bro. What do you mean he's coming? Don't leave the phone. Leave the phone. Leave the phone. Leave the phone. Don't touch the phone. What are you? We gotta leave. I'm not leaving. What you mean leave? I'm not about to leave, bro. It's like, bro. What is y'all, yo, bro? What is y'all talking? You got nobody about that, yo, bro. On some real, bro. You cheating on me like on some real shit? No, like on my mama, yo, bro. You cheating on me like on some real? I don't get. I like what the fuck, yo, bro. Like I'm about to just get a body in the stream, bro. She about to get ended, dog. I like, bro, you feel me? Like, yo, bro, no funny, bro. Stop, bro. He, he been ghosting me for so many days. Now, I want you to hear the excuse in that last video. The excuse in that last video is, you know, he been going through it. I was there for him. You got to really be careful when women have these excuses about the dudes that they trying to be there for. Normally, modern women want dudes to console them, to make them feel better about what they going through. When she starts talking about consoling a dude, then that shows that she cares about that dude. In this type of scenario, when you're woman is trying to console another dude that is on her that is her way to try to excuse her bad behavior don't fall for that you have a boyfriend yes do you have a boy best friend yeah is your boyfriend okay with that yeah if you was to call your boy best friend and tell him you broke up would you try to sleep with you no sure yeah 100 you want to try for the video yeah okay, yeah. okay. are you nervous no hi jack hey what's up me and my boyfriend just broke up when? like earlier this morning you need to talk or anything like that was yeah It's actually okay because I can't find you quite attractive. Are you being serious? This isn't a joke. No. So let me be honest with you right now. Yeah. I've kind of had a crush on you for a few years now. You know, I've even kind of started rumors about us that we'd be together. Jack, I didn't know you felt like that. Oh, yeah. up with him probably yeah we have a boyfriend maybe this generation bro what the are you serious you see, a lot of dudes will not pass the phone test because a lot of dudes are hanging in women's orbit waiting for the opportunity to be able to get with their friends. Ain't none of my friends can pull that test on me. When you made it clear that you didn't want to be with me or we want to go hook up or get together or this, that, and the third, okay, we are friends. It's okay. You can't be sitting there thinking, oh, one day I'm going to have a chance. But the worst part about this video, she knows she had a boyfriend. She heard that the friend always wanted to be with her and she gonna hook up with the dude anyway. Man, these 304s are not loyal. All right, how did, how did you find out? It was like a friend that we hung out with in a group uh -huh. for I think like about three years or so. She talked to him and he talked to her behind my back. So then the girl that was with that guy at that time, I found out from her because she sent me me messages <laughs> that they deleted from each other. So it hurt. Uh, like oh my god really 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 bad because uh i'm i'm a guy of respect you know and then that's kind of disrespecting me and you were in love with her yeah yeah i was i mean she was my first and then i thought she was my last too what was it that damn <laughs> made you want to cheat on him damn I don't know, like, I always told him, like, when we started being together, I was like, I hate cheaters, because I got cheated on before, too. 
I think it was just more environmental factors, like how I am with my family. Like I'm just like this perfect person. And then I think I always wanted to like self-destruct, self-sabotage, but he was like literally everything I ever had. Like he was the best person, like best boyfriend. He treated me right. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. These women do not care about you being a perfect dude. They only care about the perfect man that lives in their heads. But the thing that I want to highlight about this, everybody made her out to be perfect and she believes it was self-sabotage. And a lot of these women today are, are very self-destructive. They're very chaotic. Even if you give them a perfect upbringing, it's not enough. Even though that they prop themselves up to be these tens and these queens, they're doing it to hide all of the insecurities that's inside of them. When you start noticing insecurities in a woman, that right there is a red flag for cheating. All right, so today I want to do a loyalty test with y'all. Okay, we don't need to do that. We know we're not cheating. I mean, like, you ain't with nobody. I'm not with nobody else. Who is Derek, though? Our messages right here about uh, meeting up. Again, it's just the client that I meet with. Okay. Um, he Why just did Derek be testing you at 3.42 last night? That's in the morning, though. It is, but I have my phone on Do Not Disturb because I'm laying with you, so. You mind if we call Derek real quick? I don't think he's available right now, so I don't think it'd be a good yeah, idea. I'm saying, you mind if we call him, though? Why are you so nervous? Oh, I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I don't think that, hey. Hey, you know, this is my man. You know that. We're just playing around. Um, he just wants to make sure that we're not, you know, that we're not with each other, that you and I. My girl. Yes, I meant your girl. Oh, you serious? You I'm dead serious. Now, let's, let's, let's talk for real. No, no, let's, let's, let's get with this for real. The truth of the matter is that if I'm f***ing him, it's helping us make us further. It's helping us take us further. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do you gonna stay right with me because you know you want this just like he do, like everybody out of me. They want a piece of this. You know what? I can do whatever I want. You still gonna come right back. No, no, he said you don't want you. He said you don't want you. You don't want me? Did you forget? Did you forget? Get, get, get out of my house. Did you forget well, that? Did you forget that we put that mortgage in my name? That you financially responsible for? Did you forget about that? At the end of the day, I got the house. I, my name is on all the bank accounts. So you think that you can walk away that easily? This woman is the epitome of evil. You can tell in her actions in the beginning of this video that she knew she was doing wrong. But I want you to also notice that she flipped. She went from being defensive to now making that dude feel bad. Basically emasculating that man for the dirt that she's done. And she felt nothing. The last thing you want is one of these she demons to come in your life and put you in a bad situation. This man allowed her to put her name on the mortgage, probably because her credit was better or whatever, and now he is going to potentially lose his house or end up going back with this woman because now he is in financial constraint. What you never want to do is move in with these women so you understand who you're dealing with. Then the last thing you want to do is put yourself in a situation where you're going to be asked out. See, that's why I'm going to show the world how you be I doing. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. See what? See, look at you. Take, try to take my tea. I'm gonna show everybody how you spend my birthday with another dude. Nigga, you was busy. Exactly. exactly. Tell the world this. She's a gold digger. Nigga, you trifling anyway. And what you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go right down there and I'm gonna go pick the TV up the same way. No, it don't even not. matter. No, you're not. You ain't getting this TV back. Buy your own TV. Tell your other dude to buy your TV. I'm not. I'm not dealing with you. Ain't you stop following me. I'm gonna follow you anyway. No, stop following me. The same way I pulled up on you at that crib too. I pull up on you there. I don't care. Like I said, she's a gold digger, bro. Don't I'm a gold digger, but you. I'm a gold digger. Say. I'm a gold digger, but you had, but you had some, had some jugs in your face at the strip club. Nah, bro. That man. Come on, man. Jugs in your face at the strip club. Yeah, yeah nah. Nah. Stop following Tell the world how you got poked in the eye too by that nipple. See, look at you. Look at you. Yeah, you lame. You lame. Like, that's why I don't want to be with you. And that's why I tell you right now. Stupid stuff. Yeah, I'm saying stupid stuff, but you left that out your conversation. You left that out your conversation. You're not getting this. All right. You can't even get you can't even fit it in the trash. Gents, if you got nothing from this video today, I want you to know women are out here worse than men. They feel that they can't do any wrong and they do not want to be held accountable for their actions. Then you have to believe that each one of them are agents of chaos. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Watch the video at the end of this one for more great content. Until next time, live your best life.